Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF Friday. Let's make it a great one, folks. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that is not what will make you happy. What will make you happy is to share all the love you have inside of you. That is the love that will make the difference. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 400. NASDAQ is up 315. S&P is up 66. That's a gain inside the NASDAQ composite of 2.4%. 1.7 on the S&P is 1.1 on the Dow Industrials. Gold. Gold contract up $18.10, trading at 1842 an ounce. We got silver up 30 cents, twenty-seven dollars thirty-five cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck fifty-four, trading out at sixty-five dollars thirty-six cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, ten-year note up six six, trading one thirty-two twelve. The thirty-year up nineteen at one fifty-six twenty-five. And king dollar, king dollar is down four hundred and twenty-one ticks, trading out at ninety point three three one. The euro is at one twenty-one. The yen is at one oh nine point three six, and the British pound is at one forty to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You get a great bounce going. There's no doubt about that. But guess what, folks? My take is that you have a short-term top that's in. You get a bounce here that, and dramatically lighter volume. And this is really a monster contraction of volume. It's pretty wild, man. Uh, that being said, the bottom line, the SPY right now, uh, trading out here at 417.49. The highs up there are, are 432. The gap down is 417.81. So this is going to be really intriguing. Let me just look at this for a second. What did I just say? 417. Why isn't the spy number coming up for me here? 417. This one just doesn't want to cooperate when I do that. Okay, so let's go to the Qs. So the NDX 100, Qs, same type of setup inside the Qs. The contraction of the Qs, in fact, let me get it. That's what I got to do. This screen is not cooperating. So let's find out how this screen will do. When I say not cooperating, it's not giving me the price when I put it simultaneously at the top. There we go. Okay. So the three Qs right now up $7.35. Uh, bottom line is that you're going to contract. We're doing 32 million shares. Yesterday we turned around to 69 million. Uh, downtown you did 91 million. And this is, the, this is a typical, folks, B to C of an ABC structure on the way down. Well, it doesn't mean that you're going to get one, but this is how an ABC structure on the way down sets up. What you get is this. First, you get a high, you come down with volume, you go up with light volume, and then all of a sudden, you come right back at you. What's going to be intriguing about the cues is that if we take a look at this, is that uh, you're over the highs of yesterday. You're going into the downdraft that had been created out here a week and a half ago. Uh, so where they close is going to be important. The reason being is that when you're anywhere above like 326.21, which was we're 40 cents over that, that is coming into the higher range. You know, so we'll see whether it can get into the higher range. Because if it does get into the higher range, the bottom line is that that's saying that guess what? The Qs could actually bounce to 334, and right now you're at 326. If we take a look at the spy. We do the same setup inside the spy. What you have with the spy? There we go. So the SPY is up $6.79. You're at 4.1709. And 4.17, I see we've never made, we didn't make it. 4.1781 is the gap down. 4.1781 is the gap down. Uh, bottom line, it looks like it's trying to close that gap. The contraction is huge out here today, folks. Uh, no doubt, though. Uh, bottom line, they got it going, but guess what? There's nothing behind this move. Gold. Gold contract out here. We take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract had a nice move out here today. Gold is ready to really break topside in a big way. It looks like it's going to be another ABC structure on the way up. What we have with gold contract out here is you're up $18.50. You're coming into the swing. The swing point out here that we're talking about is uh, $18.46.50. Uh, $18.81 looks to be, to be game. And if we get over, this is going to get intriguing because Newmont, even when it came out with numbers that weren't great, the bottom line, it never, never broke its swing. You know, Newmont uh, traded down to uh, $60 when it came out with its numbers. 
blew that away. You're at seventy dollars and eighty-seven cents right now. If we take a look at Newmont and the way this is setting up, what you're going to see is that you're coming into its highs and you're coming into the highs with volume. Right now, the the high in Newmont is seventy-two dollars and twenty-two cents. On a weekly, you're, talk, you're talking about 34 million shares. We did 34 million last week. This week, it's going to be about 32, 33. And uh, the bottom line is that I suspect what we're going to do is that we're going to open on Monday right before the highs. Now, I'm going to bring this. Let me bring this back further. I'm going to bring this back 15 years to see what we got. Okay, so your all-time high is seventy dollars. No, that's the all-time high right there. Yeah, 72.22. This is a nice setup, man. This is what's happening here with Newmont. This is going to be pretty wild. The first time that we went up on Newmont, we actually came into the swing, and we also came into the swing from 2011 with volume. 124 million. Yeah, we did it. 127 million. Okay, so check it out. On a monthly basis... Uh, we came in with 127 million versus 124. Backs down, built some more cars. This thing looks like it's going to blow it away. So, and that is going to be all about the good old U.S. dollar, folks. If we take a look at this dollar, so what we have with the dollar is this: you've had a couple really nice counter trend bounces, and when you get a counter counter trend bounce, is a normal. In the dollar's case. The bottom line is that it's only been able to be able to hold it. Well, the first nice counter trend bounce we got was about two and a half weeks ago. That's when the dollar went from 90 to 91, 350. Stayed there for three days and then got blown apart. On Tuesday, the, the dollar went from 91.63 to 97.63. Stayed there for a day, and all of a sudden you got wide price spread again on the way down. It looks to me, if I bring this back, what you're going to be looking at now is that number one, you know, I've always thought it's going to go after the swing point anyway. The swing point we're talking about is the 88.9 body. The 88.253. But the way this is trading, it looks to me like you're going to break that swing. You break that swing, and the bottom line, you can be all the way down to the 79, 80 to all area, which is going to be pretty intense. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 405. NASDAQ up 315. S&P's up 67. We'll come right back.